Good morning. It is the day before Thanksgiving, although I'm working Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but I'm on like my fourth day off, so I can't really complain. But today I am going to meet my friend from work. We are going to go get Petties and Manny's this morning in like an hour, and then I need to pick up something for my work potluck tomorrow, and I don't know what to take but this video is not going to be up in time for you to like suggest things to me so i think i'm just gonna like go to trader joe's and rummage around and like find something to make and then later um yesterday i went out and i got some decorations at michael's uh i don't know if you guys follow my instagram stories like if you follow me on instagram and you watch stories you would have seen that there was literally a woman with a cat in her shopping cart at michael's yesterday and she actually parked next to me and I saw her in the car before um, she went into the store. Like I went to the store before her. She was like in there like brushing her cat. And then next thing you know, I like turned the corner and I'm like, whoa, that's a cat. Like, Excuse me, ma'am, what kind of dog is that? That's literally what I wanted to ask her. That was hilarious and then a little later I was at the cash register like checking out and here she comes her entire cart was empty um but she did pick up some like Christmas like tinsel garland well instead of putting it in like the empty cart she put it where the cat was sitting so it was like this cat was like sitting on like this Christmas throne it was the most bizarre thing ever and I'm like why am I so blessed that I always get to see these things, you know? Um, and then later today, what am I doing? Oh, that's what I was talking about, the Christmas decorations. So I have like that super big pole in my um, like condo living room. And so I bought garland to wrap it with. And then I got like the big Christmas lights. Oh my God, it's going to be so pretty. But I'm making um, my good gay friend come over and put everything up for me. So he told me he's going to wear a Santa hat. And he also like for his job, he has to go drop some um, Christmas cards off. And one is at a winery, so like we're taking a trip to Woodenville, which is like where all the wineries are. And oh, hi, there's my bra. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna go to the wineries and probably like do a tasting. So I'm assuming we're probably gonna do that before we put the decor up. So that'll be fun, I'll show him. Um, if you guys, like I said, watch my Instagram stories, you've seen him on there, cause I know some of you will like inbox me and be like, oh my God, he's so funny. Like, yeah, he he's a hoot, I love him. Also, oh my God, I got the coolest mailers. You guys, you know I'm obsessed with my holographic. I'm about to go to the post office because the mail doesn't go out tomorrow. But oh my God, look at these holographic mailers I got. I am so obsessed. Like if I got a package in the mail in a holographic mailer, I would be obsessed with it and be like, Yes, I wonder what the, I honestly wonder what the mailman thinks of me. Also, I want to show everybody my new shoes because I am obsessed with them. These are like the Nike Blazers. I got them at Nordstrom. They're in like this beautiful, like blush, like mauvey pink color. They're like pretty stylish. Like I have just been wearing these with like a long cardigan and jeans and just like uh, a v-neck and they're like kind of dressy, but kind of not. It's weird. I'll link them below. They're so comfortable too. I've like never wanted to try these on because I've always thought they looked a little like flat footed, but no, they are so comfortable. I love them. And they're on the Nordstrom website. And when I looked on the website the other day, like the color online looks more brown, but this is what they look like in real life. They're like a really pretty blush color that like goes with everything. Okay, Trader Joe's is not as bad as I was expecting. Now I'm in the Starbucks line, which is worse than what I was expecting, but you know what, whatever. I am going to pick up an iced coffee. I was like really craving a hot coffee today and I like never crave, like I barely drink lattes anymore. I just drink like Americanos or uh, just iced coffee, like iced Americanos, but I'm gonna get a cold one because it is hot out today. Starbucks, what can I have for you today? Hi, can I have um, a venti iced Americano with cream and three Splenda? You got it. And that's all. 
Awesome. I will see you up here. Also, yes, I do have crutches in the back of my car. The back of my car is full of just tons of crap that I need to donate. It was on my to-do list this week. It didn't happen. So it's going to be on my kind of um, rolling over to-do list that like never gets done. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> and those crutches just need to go into like my storage unit. But... Uh, I just haven't gotten them in there yet. And it's literally right next to where I park in my parking garage. So yeah, I'm a mess. Hi. Hi. I don't know what color I'm gonna get on my nails today. I have been kind of digging these. Uh, my nail salon got this like cool like glitter nail polish in, but it's kind of like solid glitter and I'm like obsessed with it. Sorry you're so close. I don't have my like mount <laughs> up, but yeah, so I don't know what, I'm not like ready to do like holiday nails, you know, like not ready for red or anything like that. And if anybody was wondering I about my nails, I do, I have acrylic nails so well I mean it's technically my nails but I get acrylic put over them and then I get gel put on top of that seriously like a manicure lasts me could last me forever but I've been going like three and a half almost four weeks lately because my nails like still look good there's just like some regrowth so yeah that's what I do I like started out with like a full acrylic set and then obviously my nails are like all grown out now like they're all mine but I just get get fills and then get gel on top and I don't know I feel like that's the way to go like yeah acrylic definitely ruins your nails but I mean the manicure lasts like twice as long I pay like 35 40 bucks depending on like if I get design and you know like a shellac manicure is like pushing 30 so I don't know. I feel like I get more bang for my buck, you know? I just got to my gaze. I was going to stop at my place and change my outfit to go wine tasting and like put my groceries away, but traffic was dumb. So I'm like, dude, I'm just going to come to your house, store my stuff in your fridge, and then we'll go wine tasting. So then he sends me a picture. He's like all dressed up and he's like, is this, is this good for wine tasting? And I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm wearing a sweatshirt and jeans so you do you boo <laughs> so yeah I got my nails done let's see just like silver can you like see that really it's kind of washed out um silver and like a magenta color I'm not like not ready for the Christmas colors you know what I'm saying you're a mess this oh, is all this designer. Is all oh my god, this is all designer. <laughs> okay, but like a real photo, where should I do it? Mm, I don't know. There's really no photo ops here. I can get you with the sign. Thank you. Thank you. Basic as fuck. Basic as fuck. Here, one. I know, but which one is worse? That's oh, the real which one question. is worse? Yeah. Um, the one with the tongue out. So not this one. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying right now. <laughs> Don't you like this one? I love no, it. Well, the alternatives are me cuddling with wine on the floor. <laughs> I kind of like that. Oh, I like that. I know, but I'm so happy there. I, I like posting terrible photos of myself. Oh, so how much do you spend on a bottle of wine? Oh, uh, usually about a half an hour. <laughs> Is there a better site than a clean fridge? I don't think so. My refrigerator was seriously a... Tupperware graveyard, which is all in my sink now. I'm waiting to put it in the dishwasher. And now I just went to the grocery store, so I'm gonna fill my fridge up again. Oh, I wanna show you my new favorite dressing if you are a Trader Joe's shopper. It's the carrot ginger, ginger, the carrot ginger miso salad dressing. Oh my God, it's so good. It reminds me of this dressing from um, a sushi place back home. And so obviously I'm almost finished with this, but I got a backup. And it also reminds me kind of of the carrot dressing that Trader, no, not Trader Joe's, sorry, um, that Whole Foods has too. 
And here is my grocery haul. I usually go grocery shopping like every three days, so this will just get me started for the beginning of the week. Um, I got some romaine lettuce. Oh my God, you guys, seriously, lettuce this time of year? You open the bag and six hours later, it's disgusting. So I thought if I didn't get just like regular cut romaine and I got the romaine hearts, it might last a little bit longer, but we'll see, I don't know. I got some red seedless grapes. I don't know what it is, but Trader Joe's has like the crunchiest red grapes ever. So I saw those and I was like, oh my God, I need those. And the last time I got them, like a month ago, they were so, so sweet, they were delicious. Uh, I got these for salads, just cheese and garlic croutons. I got some eggs. Um, I made some eggs for breakfast this morning and then I think I'm gonna make some hard boiled eggs. I got some Brussels sprouts so I can roast. I got, this English cucumber is ginormous. I kind of always feel like a perv when I pick one of these up, but they're just so damn good. They're just so versatile. Um, so I got that and then I got this shredded carrot, uh, literally shredded carrots. So my go-to salad lately has been romaine lettuce with that carrot ginger dressing. I put carrots on it, red onion, and then cut up English cucumber. Oh my God, it's so good. It's like such a refreshing salad. And I don't usually crave salad this time of year because I don't know, it's just not salad weather to me, but I've been eating that a lot and I love it. Got some meat for some tacos, obviously got some taco seasoning. I'm gonna make like just taco bowls, like no shell or anything or no chips, um, just kind of like a low carb meat dinner meal. Um, I also got my favorite Cuban black beans, pinto beans, and uh, this is just some corn that I got and then I got an avocado because I also got tuna and I've made this, I haven't made it in a long time, but you take tuna and then you take avocado and I won't be able to do this for a couple of days because my avocado is like rock hard. Um, you do that and you mash the tuna up with the avocado. You can even add egg in it, salt and pepper, and it's so, so good. So if I make it, I'll try to record it, but um, I don't know if I'll remember to. Okay, and so while I'm standing here, I'll show you my little Christmas centerpiece that I made for my island. Shout out to the leftover Halloween candy over here. I can't believe that I still have any left because it's like a month past Halloween. So I got these gorgeous pine cones at Michael's. The whole bag was $3.99 and I used the whole bag in this um, like vase hurricane thing. But yeah, they have like gold glitter on them and I'm obsessed with them. At first I was like, oh, I could just make those. But then I'm like, okay, $3.99. Um, yeah, I probably can't you know, make them for that cheap. And then I picked up just like a little thing of evergreen, like faux evergreen, obviously at Michael's and it was like came on a branch and then I just took off um, just like the leaves or what, like this is not a leaf. What the hell do you call this? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, but anyways, I took those all off and then I just kind of placed them in here and I really like how it turned out. I would have put, I think lights would be fun in it uh, just to put some twinkle lights in there, but I don't have like a drill or uh, an outlet in the middle of my island to do that and light this up. But if I put it somewhere else in my place, I probably could do that. Okay, Costco is a freaking nightmare today. It's Monday, so I figured, okay, it won't be too bad. I barely find a parking spot. I like parked in BFE because I was sick of circling the block. And all I had to do was pick up my contacts. So yay, I finally got those, exciting. Um, my current contacts, I'm on my last pair and they're like <laughs> fused to my eyeballs. So I'm like, okay, it's time to change. But I was just like dreading going into Costco like a week ago because of the holidays and stuff. But yeah, it wasn't great today either. So hi, cart boy. And now I'm gonna go to the donation drop off and the car wash. I'm not gonna get my car wash because it looks like it's gonna rain, but I'm gonna vacuum it and clean it out and sip on my coffee on the drive because it tastes so good. Um, I bought an espresso yesterday. Yes. Sunday? Yeah, yesterday was Sunday. So I have been wanting an espresso. I, I wanted the cities just because I love the way it looks. Like it's so just, I don't know. It's just so like timeless and chic looking. And so 
I bought my mom one and I bought myself one, obviously, because that's how you Christmas shop, right? They had a really good deal on it. I got the machine and the frother for, I think it was about $200 each, obviously. So, um, my mom is like seriously the hardest person ever to Christmas shop for because she's just the woman, like the woman has everything. If she doesn't have it and she wants it, she goes out and buys it. It's just like so hard to buy for her. And I like, don't want to get my mom like, I don't know, like, like soap in a basket. Like my mom deserves a nice Christmas present. So last year I told her, like, I kind of have to like pre-check with her to see if she has it. Cause this year I was going to get her the instant pot. Well, guess who has the instant pot? My mom, of course. So then I, last year I was going to get her an espresso. So I dropped the Nespresso bomb on her. Like, Hey, I'm going to get you an espresso for Christmas. Like apparently it's life changing this and that. And she was like, Oh, she's like, I just pulled out my backup Keurig because my other Keurig died. And like my mom has had several Keurigs. Um, I don't know, Keurig just like doesn't last. I've had several Keurigs and the coffee isn't, like it's fine, but it's not amazing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. If you are into coffee, it's, I mean, it's fine. Like I'll drink it, but it's not the best coffee in the world. So my mom is like the type of person that she like has a Keurig, but she also has a backup Keurig in the closet because she'll see it go on sale and she'll be like, oh, I'll put that in the closet for backup. And I'm like, you are spending so much money on these Keurigs. Like, let me just get you an espresso. Well, she had already, she had already gotten her Keurig. So I was like, whatever. I'll wait till next year. So yeah, they put out the emails that Nespresso's were 35% off, which is a hell of a deal. And so I purchased us both um, Nespresso's and I texted her and I'm like, hey, your uh, Christmas present's gonna arrive in like three or four days. So don't open it. I said, you're getting a Nespresso and that's that. So now she's all like, oh, she's like, well, what pads do I need? Where do I buy the pads? This and that. And so yeah, I'm gonna get her like a variety of pods just so we can try them when I'm home. And yeah, if you have a favorite Nespresso pod, let me know below because I'm obviously a newbie, but I'm really excited. And we do have an Nespresso boutique here. So I'm definitely going to hit up that because it looks super aesthetically pleasing. If you've ever seen a picture, um, they have like all the pods like lined up um, on the wall. Today is the day I'm going to clean my car out. I'm going to get all this crap in the back that needs to go to donation. I'm taking it to the drop off. That's the end of it. I'm doing it today. I'm going to vacuum my car. I'm going to clean out my car. I just like am on this productive cleaning spree. I cleaned my place yesterday. Oh, my mom got me the shark. Is it the ion shark ion vacuum for my birthday? And it is amazing. I'm obsessed with it. If you don't have it, my mom has the Dyson and I know a couple of people who have the Dyson, but Sam's Club was having a deal on the Shark Ion and I really, really like it. And I love how like I can vacuum my car with it because everything like disconnects and it can like be made into a smaller vacuum. So I can just like bring it out in my car and vacuum my carpets. So yeah, um, if you're like in the market for a vacuum that does hardwood and carpets I would say get that it's awesome and there's so many deals now between now and Christmas that I'm sure you can like steal it okay I just went to film and I like played it back and I'm like not wearing a bra and like my boobs are just like hanging out and I'm like okay I cannot post that to the YouTube because then it'll be like the boob tube so yeah I just moved my camera so you don't have to stare at my <laughs> boobs but anyways i am just going to use my kirkland face wipe um these are my absolute favorite i love them they're from costco and they're super saturated um i feel like a lot of the times when you get like face wipes they're not wet at all and then you have to use like three of them to even get any grit off of your face and that drives me crazy so yeah these are my absolute favorite followed by the Neutrogena ones, the ones that are in like the blue package, those are pretty great too. Okay, so I have, I don't want to talk about my skincare right now because I am going to film a whole entire video on that because I have seriously like changed my skin in the past two months with various products I've been using, um, especially from this company called The Ordinary, which, uh oh, there we go which I'll talk more about them later. They're like a super affordable skincare line and I have like seriously seen results and I can't believe it took me so long to like 
catch on to their uh, following because um, a lot of people on YouTube have talked about them. But anyways, so I purchased their foundation uh, like last week. And I tried this on last night because I could like couldn't wait. I was like, oh my god, I want to try this foundation on and see if I like it because people's like uh, pictures with it on look really really good. So yes, oh my gosh, I love it. So I'm gonna do my face and then I'll come back and I'll show you um, what it looks like. So I totally just got locked in my parking garage. I had to have security come and let me out because lately I haven't been able to swipe out. And the last time it happened, I was able to get out of the other exit, but this time I wasn't able to get out of either exits. So I had to call security and he had to come um, and get me. And I was like, do you think it's an issue with my key fob? And he's like, no, he's like, I couldn't get out the other night either. So he thinks it's like an issue with the machine, but it's like super annoying, you know? So yeah, I should make this video like just the whole clickbait title. Oh my God. Like I got locked in my parking garage for 24 hours. That's what I could title this video. Like I cannot stand clickbait titles. I don't think I've ever once done a clickbait title. I don't think. Nope. I'm pretty sure I haven't because I can't stand them. It's like title. I got locked out of my hotel room and it's like, no honey, you were so drunk that you didn't know how to use the key card to get into your hotel room. And it's no wonder YouTube doesn't want to monetize your ass anymore because you freaking lie in the title. Like, do people not understand this? It's so annoying. Anyways, that's my little rant. You guys know you like love my YouTube rants anyways. Also, tea of the day, Matt Lauer was fired, which what do you guys think about all of this, um, like, Me Too drama allegations, things like that? Um, I think, like, these pigs are finally being held accountable for their actions, as they should be. And, like, for some reason, like, Matt Lauer doesn't really surprise me. Um, I don't know if it surprises anybody else. He just kind of seems like he'd be, like, I don't know, just, like, kind of a sleazeball. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've always been a GMA fan, so maybe I'm just biased. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm going to, I like watched the news a little bit on that this morning. Um, you know, the fake news. And now I'm going to Whole Foods because I really want some bacon from their breakfast bar. And I also want to buy the carrot ginger dressing that they sell. They have two different kinds and I'm on the hunt for the one that they have at the salad bar because you know I'm obsessed with the carrot ginger dressing as I have showed you. Um, the Trader Joe's one is more, it's more like vinegar based if that makes sense and then the one at Whole Foods is like has like a sweeter flavor so I'm gonna see if I can find that and probably pick up a salad for lunch because that sounds really good. time and I'm so excited about my new dressings so I think I showed this in my basket when I was in Whole Foods but here's the dressings that I got they're so good I actually like this carrot and ginger dressing better than the uh, Trader Joe's one I don't know like I said it just has like kind of like a sweeter taste but there's no oil and it's 40 calories per serving so like a pretty healthy dressing if you ask me and then I also got the sesame ginger dressing and this one is really good too. I'm actually gonna mix the two, which I have done before, and it's super, super delicious. So, oh, sorry, I just flipped everybody off. <laughs> so, bon appetit. 
Okay, it is now uh, Saturday and I'm just doing a face mask. I work tonight and tomorrow and Home Alone is on. So I've been watching that and just kind of cleaning because last night my friend Marjorie and I finally got my, I have an itch, finally got my garland up. My friend and I were gonna do it after wine tasting that one night, but we were just a little too buzzed to uh, put the garland up. So I'm going to wait until it gets dark out to turn the lights on and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what my garland looks like as it looks so cute in here. I love it. So I promised I showed you guys some more of my holiday decor and I finally got my tree up aka my pole. I'm going home for Christmas. Um, I'm leaving on December 22nd so I kind of wanted a tree this year but then I was like no. I don't want to be like pitching the tree on December 22nd. Like I just wanted decorations that I could just leave up and then deal with when I get back. So this is fake garland. I got it at Michael's. Um, it's green, obviously, <laughs> and it has some fake snow on it, which has proven to be a pain in the ass because I've been nonstop uh, vacuuming. And then it has some pine cones in it. And then I bought like the big uh, bulb lights and I'm like obsessed with how it turned out. It provides so much light in my place. Like I don't know it looks so good it really sets the mood in here like I wish I could invite you all over and we could just sit on my couch and watch Home Alone and Mean Girls like doesn't that sound like so much fun but <laughs> yeah so um this is this is my pole my pole is out of commission for the holidays and then over here this is just my tv area and yeah, so this banner I got on Amazon, I have been thinking about putting a big wreath right there. Um, I just put the Merry Christmas up today. It's this cute little like burlap material. I got it on Amazon for like nine bucks. Um, don't mind my tape if you can see it. I just needed to like get it up there before I like nailed it in and I still have to fix it a little bit because it's crooked. But yeah, I might, I really want like one of those eucalyptus evergreen wreaths. So if I can find one, I'm pretty sure Trader Joe's had them for like 10 bucks. Um, I'm going to put a wreath up there and then figure out what to do with my little banner. I don't know. And then I put this stuff up last weekend. So some of you may remember this uh, garland that I got last year at Joanne's. And it is white and then it's like gold dipped, um, like dipped in gold glitter. And so it doesn't come with the lights or anything. I took twinkle lights and um, wrapped it around it, which is actually harder than it looks. But this is, I don't know, I thought it like didn't look too Christmassy so I can like keep this up in January just because I don't know, I kind of like twinkle lights, they're pretty. And um, yeah, like it wasn't too Christmassy. It's not like green garland where I'll take down in like, you know, January. I could probably leave this up through the winter months. And over here I have just a gold tree that I got at Hobby Lobby. I really like it. I think it's kind of fun. It's tin and just like looks nice sitting there. And then this is just a random red candle. And then down here, my laptop case in the back. And I got that branch at... Probably Michael's last year. I'm pretty sure it was Michael's. And then over here, I have just a tree. I think I got this at Michael's or Joanne's last year. Seriously, all I like the only place I shop is Hobby Lobby, Michael's, or Joanne's for Christmas stuff because lately they've been having like 50% off and then they are throwing out coupons that's like 20 or 25% off, even sale items. So watch for those and get your Christmas stuff. And my last little decor item is just this wreath that I got at Michael's. It was like five bucks and I think it's really cute. It's like a, just a small little wreath and I put it in my kitchen and yeah, I think that's it. Um, I don't know if I will put up any more decor. We'll see. We shall see. But yeah, living for this poll, you guys. I am so obsessed. So obsessed. I love it.